the world may be on the cusp of eradicating polio thanks to the sustained work of key partners of the Global Polio Eradication Initiative, or GPEI. The number of countries where polio is endemic has fallen dramatically, from 125 in 1988 when the global campaign began, to 10 in 2002, and to just 3 in 2012. Polio cases worldwide have also fallen from 350,000 to just 223 in 2012, the lowest number ever recorded. We're now closer than ever to getting rid of this disease forever, but we still have a lot to do. India reported its last case in January 2011, the result of a remarkable mobilization by the Indian government. While victory is in sight, there is a risk the hard-won gains could be lost if we lose focus. In fact, new cases were reported in Somalia and Kenya in mid-2013. In 2003, immunizations were disrupted in northern Nigeria and polio spread rapidly to 15 countries. Failure to eradicate the disease could result in as many as 200,000 cases of polio per year. Finishing the job requires high-level political will, a smart implementation strategy, and adequate funding. Vaccinators still struggle to reach children, particularly in northern Nigeria, Pakistan, and Afghanistan, three countries where the virus continues to circulate. Some of the places they're trying to reach have, have barely been reached by any health services. The last three countries that have never gotten rid of polio have real challenges, but they're committed to getting over the finish line. Security for health workers has become a major concern. Targeted attacks in northern Nigeria and Pakistan have killed more than two dozen vaccinators since late 2012. They've been able to continue with the immunization campaigns, but it's requiring new ways of looking at security and increased risk analysis for security, um, additional security personnel in some places. Steps to reduce violence are outlined in the initiative's new six-year plan. The strategy calls for intensified engagement with religious leaders to win greater community acceptance of polio vaccination. It calls for smarter use of local health, civilian, and security networks. The ambitious top-line goal of the $5.5 billion plan is to stop transmission of polio. To get over the finish line, we're going to need to intensify actions in the last three countries keep up our guard all over the world. The campaign will improve surveillance and pursue new methods to reach all children everywhere. The plan will improve immunization programs for other childhood diseases and better link them with polio eradication efforts. It lays the groundwork for the introduction of a more appropriate vaccine for this late stage of eradication effort. It was a very extraordinary year for public health, uh, and particularly for polio. At the Abu Dhabi summit in April, GPEI partners, heads of state, Islamic leaders, international organizations, and philanthropists united behind a final push against polio and pledged more than $4 billion toward the effort. This is a unique moment. It is possible to achieve global polio eradication given the new strategy, heightened political will, expanded funding, and recent advances. Success would be a major humanitarian achievement, marking only the second time a human disease has been defeated worldwide.